Roman's countrymen, pray lend us your ears to conclude this night's merriment. I, Simon Cowell, uh, I mean Callow, present to you Saturday Twelfth Night Takeaway, a new play written by my own fair hand. The part of the king will be played by me. The part of Elias will be played by Sir Anthony McPartlin. The part of Tobias will be played by Dame Declan Donnelly. <laughs> Bringing some much needed culture to the proceedings. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the endeth of the show show. <laughs> Yes, yes, I confess I'm dressed in a dress, but I really must stress I'm not dressed to impress, I'm just in a mess. If professed, I profess I kissed and caressed the king's mistress Bess on both of her. Bangers! <laughs> Bangers for sale! Ah, my butcher brother's back from Bristol, baking burgers, making bacon. Ah, ha, 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 Tobias. Elias, I'm dressed in disguise. A disguise? Very wise. If the king and his spies spot the ruse of your guise and remove your disguise, it'll prove your demise. Care for a pies? I don't think so. <laughs> it comes with French fries. That's ill-advised. Just think of my thighs. They're quite oversized. That's actually not even in the script. It's just my surprise. <laughs> if King Stephen sees us, his soldiers will seize us. Quick, hide in those leaves. No coughs and no sneezes till King Stephen sees us. What? Get down on my knees and freeze in the leaves till King Stephen leaves? <laughs> I'll do it with ease. Jesus, get to the leaves. <laughs> ah, your highness. Tobias! Alas, I'm Elias. But I want Tobias. But why? What reason? I'll give you the reason. The reason is treason. He thought he could breeze in, start pleasing my wife. I've been tracking and tracking and stalking and stalking and stabbing and forking, but people won't let him. Oh! At you! Was that you? Was that who? Did said a two? That, that sneezes from leaves. Uh, no, 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 no. A breeze from the trees. Ow. I'm begging you, please, just leave the leaves be. We all could agree it could have been bees. Or a badger or beagle or badger or eagle or beetle or seagull or serval or weevil or just Stephen Seagull. I was shooting a sequel. <laughs> There's no beaver or beagle or badger or eagle or beetle or seagull or serval or weevil or just Stephen Seagull out shooting a sequel, not even a little evil, just leaping a steeple or sleeping in treacle or treading on needles. Ha! Ah! Yes! <laughs> See, they don't teach you that on Biker Grove. Sonny. Like that, is it? Yes. That is it, Callow. Yes. Okay. Well, if it's not. A beaver or beagle or badger or eagle or beetle or seagull or serval or weevil or just Steven Seagull out shooting a sequel or evil can evil just leaping in steeple or sleeping in trickle or treading on needles. Then what'll it be, pal? Do stifle this libel. I'm lawful and loyal, legitimate, reliable. I swear on the Bible, it's undeniable. I really don't know where my brother might be. <laughs> Seize him, sneeze him, seize him. Oh, what? Uh, 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 OK, OK. It's come to fruition. I've got an admission. I had a small tipple and touched your wife's... Baps! <laughs> Burgers and baps, anybody? Yeah? And what are you going to do about it, eh? I'm going to twist out your teeth and I'll take out your tongue and I'll tear out your tonsils until they are torn. Fair enough, that's all right. <laughs> Shackle that charlatan. <laughs> oh, sorry, I farted then. Oh, wait, no, wait, wait. I'll admit, I'll admit, get off. I've been scrapping and epping and beating and eating and fighting and finchling and filching and f filching and filting. <laughs> yeah, you heard me. <laughs> I fixed them and bricked them and boxed them and foxed them, assaulted and bolted and bolted to Salford. I touted and taunted and taunted and touted. They taught me to tackle while tromping through Tottenham. I glided through grass and we grins we was crass to me, got in the scrap and they handed my ass to me. <laughs> In which you should quit and submit, but admit in a fit you placed mitts 
on my mistress's flatbreads. <laughs> flatbreads for sale. No, no. Don't think what you thought. I keep getting cut short. If truth should be told, I just stole your wife's gold. Thank you, Tony. <laughs> Always <laughs> believe in your soul. Okay, you're, you're milking it a little bit now. <laughs> if you could just... I knew you would crack. I want my gold back. Well, now my life's back on track. I'll empty my sack. <laughs> All of your gold, sire. There it is. I've returned it. Ah, the rowdy rascal released. The debacle's deceased. I'm so pleased that his peace. Come, let's feast on my meat. Yes, come on. So deftly and dexterous, our script has been said. It could even go viral on the World Wide Web. <laughs> Wait in the air, cross on the side.